been covering. We've been rolling them out for a couple of weeks. Yeah, now. it feels <laughs> like it's. we've had many, yeah. many first days of back to school. But good luck to all the parents and to all the kids. Uh, it's going to be interesting a first day because it's going to be so warm later on. Yeah. yeah, and Joe, you brought up a little while ago, how many heat waves have we had? Yeah. Believe it or not, we've only had, this will be the fourth. We've only okay. had three heat waves. Oh. But I think that first heat wave in July. That was a big one. Seven yeah. days at and above 90. That was a long duration. Uh, for the wave. uninitiated, it's three days of 90 and above? Is that yeah, that's what we consider, consider a heat wave here. Um, um, at least in our weather center. Mm -hmm. I think everybody has their own definition of it. So we're expecting four days at and above 90 and probably at least one afternoon hitting the triple digits, probably tomorrow as that ridge of high pressure builds right overhead. Tomorrow and Friday are going to be first alert weather days because of the intense heat combined with some wildfire smoke that could be impacting our air quality. It really all depends on how active those fires are along in the east of the Cascades. But right now we're seeing some nice conditions out there. It's comfortably cool. 61 in Portland with a thin marine layer, but most of the clouds are moving up into Canada. We have a lot of clear sky over the Pacific Ocean thanks to this strong ridge of high pressure that's bringing sinking air and basically clearing out uh, most of the clouds out there. There. And it's going to be shifting right over the top of us over the next couple of days. And that's why we're thinking Thursday and Friday are going to be our warmest days. We'll also have an offshore wind that's going to help to draw uh, some of that wildfire smoke in from the east, but it also dry out the air. Watch what happens as we get into the weekend. The ridge moves east. We start to get more of an influence from the Pacific Ocean. And I think we're going to have a deep trough of low pressure approaching the region by midweek of next week, just outside of our seven day forecast. But that's when temperatures should really start to cool down and our rain chances will be on the increase as well. Here's what we're expecting over the next four days in Portland. Top is the, uh, th those top numbers are our forecast numbers and the bottom shows the records for each date. I wanted to point out that tomorrow, Thursday, uh, the record high is 101. Our high temperature forecast is 100. That's the latest date that we've seen a 100 degree reading at PDX. If we happen to hit 100 on Friday, that would officially become the latest date that we've experienced triple digit heat. So we're right on the edge here and uh, you have to experience Perfect conditions to heat uh, to hit 100 degrees this time of year because the days are just getting shorter in terms of daylight hours. So again, uh, the next four days will hit at and above 90 degrees. I think we'll cool down by Sunday and Monday with more morning clouds, followed by afternoon sunshine. And just outside of the seven day, Wednesday into Thursday is when we should see a much uh, cooler weather pattern and potentially some rain returning as well. Tony.